Hi you guys, this is Black and Blue, and I don't know about you, but I'm ready to get into today's uh, savings challenge video. Let's go. This is Black and Blue, go ahead. What's the crime? An attempt to watch and not subscribe? Yep, that's a crime. Friends don't let friends watch and not subscribe. So, <laughs> come on, let's get into the video. I am so excited. I have been waiting to get into savings challenges and that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to jump right into it. Basically, the money that's left over after paying my bills, my weekly spend stuff for my wallet, this is the money that's left over and we are going to do some savings challenges. So this money is theoretically going into savings, but we're going to have fun saving because sometimes it's boring to save and we can make it fun so it makes us want to save more. So I could go to Starbucks every day or I could save that money and use it towards my savings challenges because playing games is fun, especially for the mind. It's like, it's like, oh, I really want to play more games for my savings challenges. So I'm going to try to save more of the money that I'm using in my spending to, to go to savings challenges. It's just a great way to do it. Not necessary, but it's fun and that's why a lot of us do it. So let's go ahead and I'm going to get some fingertip moistener because it just makes counting money so much easier. These are, these are in my shop. There's a small version and a large version. This is a small one. It lasts like forever. So small is all you really need. Now let's get into these savings challenges. I'm so excited. Uh, let's see. It's hot in here. I just turned my heat off because it's loud, but I'm just realizing now that it's actually hot in here. So let's go ahead and count on how much we are going to be stuffing. Let me put this over here. All right. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62. So we're stuffing $162 today. Perfect. I'm going to push this up. Okay. Yeah, I'm so excited. So let's see. What do we want to start with? Let's start with... I got a lot of savings challenges. And there's a lot that I really want to do and stuff. So let's see how far we get. We are... Oh, and I just got paid for my YouTube paycheck. So I'm super excited. I can't wait to stuff that. That's going to be so much fun. So... I'm going to do that in a separate video, though. So this right here is a challenge from Busy Lizzie's Budget. Absolutely love her. This challenge is so freaking cute. It's got all the old school shows on it. And I am going to grab a scratch-off tool because this one is a scratch-off. And it's really pretty because these are also envelopes. So the money goes in right here. It says, did I do that? I love that. Let's go ahead and scratch this one and see how much we're stuffing in it. I'm just ready to go. All right, six dollars, five, six, perfect. We'll put that right in here, and let's yeah, let's go on to the next one. Just because I want to stuff a lot of challenges today, so that one is done. I could always go back to it if we have enough money to, but until we decide that, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next one. This one is from Saving with Shalanda. Absolutely love this challenge. I actually cannot wait to start her heat book. If you guys haven't seen that unboxing, I did a unboxing a couple videos ago of her new heat challenge book. It is bomb. Let's grab some dice. Put that over there. Okay, I really like this challenge. So we need a marker as well. Okay. Shut the box. I love this one. Okay, so basically whatever I roll, I'm going to find that number on here. It could be a whole number where you add them where you add them together and color off that number or you can do the separate numbers. You could do 5 and 9, whatever adds up to 9. You could do an 8 and a 1, whatever adds up to 9. And that's what you're going to cross off. You're going to try and get them all colored in to shut the box. If you roll a number and you can't cross anything off anymore then you busted and you have to stuff all the remaining numbers in that category it took me a while to figure out how to play this so it took me a while to jump on board but I have arrived <laughs> oh I just rolled I just rolled again okay the other one was nine let me do that actually that's cheating let's start here so this is six I'm gonna go ahead and cross off six 
And whoa, we got another nine. I'm gonna go ahead and take that nine off. Eight. This game is so nerve wracking. Another eight, so let's do seven and one. Another eight, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do a five and a three. I better not roll another eight. We got four and two left, so we got six left. Let's try to roll six. <gasps> oh my gosh, that was so close. That's five. So close, so I can't do anything else here. So four or five, six dollars. Oh, that was so good. That was good. And I have the Shut the Box game. This is in my binder, and my binders are on my website. This is a custom vinyl that I did, so the binders come without the custom vinyl. I do have a custom vinyl option in my shop, but otherwise they come with nothing on the cover. So we're adding this to Shut the Box, and that's Savings with Shalanda. Saving with Shalanda. That one's fun. I wonder if these fit in A5 envelopes. Let me see if it fits in here. I'm just curious. No. <laughs> I was very curious. Okay. That one is done. The challenge is so much fun. I would just love to keep on playing it over and over. All right. This next challenge is this binder and the challenge inside of it is from Breathe and Budget. Taryn, very pretty. It has her logo right here, Breathe and Budget. Super pretty. This is her 52-week savings challenge. It comes without the binder, but I definitely put it in this binder that comes from her shop. So let's see. I'm so used to turning it this way. Okay, so we did January. We did February. It's March, so let's do a couple in March. First off, we have nine. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10. Let me just go ahead and grab this. Five, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. All right. Perfect. So we did the nine and the 10. Great. Hey, I love it. And these you can um, clean off with alcohol or non-acetone nail polish remover or a magic eraser. I love it. This is very pretty. Dried. All right. That's Breathe and Budget. That's the name of her channel on YouTube and Instagram. Now, I'm excited for this one. This is from the Almost Organized Owl, and this challenge is almost done. The page that I started on, the Rainy Day Fund, is almost complete. She's got lots of challenges in this book. It's absolutely beautiful, but we're going to go ahead and finish off this one right here. That's going to take a majority of the money we have here, but I am destined to finish this challenge. I'm going to go ahead and use... I'm going to use a highlighter. Actually, no, I'm going to use the same green. So we have the 40 right here, and then these two little drops down here are 10s. So let's go ahead and color them in. So that's 40, 50, and 60. We're done! 20, 40, 60. Yes! That is freaking awesome i definitely just took a thumbnail picture <laughs> oh my god this one's done at the almost organized owl let's see right here oh my god there's so much in here ah, i'm so excited i cannot wait to unstuff this oh my gosh that was so cool i can't believe how much it feels like i've saved in this one challenge it wasn't done in a day. It was definitely, we worked up to it. And I'm glad we did. That was super awesome. Oh, and I also have this open envelope because we're going to replace it with another challenge. And I'm so excited. I just love doing that. Finishing a challenge and replacing it with another one of the million challenges I have from wonderful shops. <laughs> so many. Okay. Budget with Ira. I am doing this challenge here. And I believe I started this challenge here. Each piece is worth $5, so let's go ahead and take the highlighter and color in the rest of this row here. Eh, no. Let me do this one. Okay. 
slow and steady wins the race. So I just did this one right here with the highlighter. And this is from Budget with Ira. Ira has seriously the coolest, most beautiful pastel -y rainbow aesthetic and it's beautiful. I love it. So that's five. We're gonna go ahead and put towards Budget with Ira. I love Ira. Right here. Already opened. Yay, okay. I always love seeing what Ira comes out with next because Ira's always coming out with some beautiful things. Love, and the quality is always amazing. Okay, so we are going to jump into this challenge. This is the 100 envelope challenge done by uh, Kia Budgets, and I absolutely love her. This one is so pretty. I love her envelopes. Super clear. We did, so I'm marking off them with X's as we do them. And I already completed this one. And then I've done a couple in here. Uh, let's see. I did the 11, 12, 13, and 20. So let's go ahead and do, let's see. Let's do 15. Make sure we can see this. Okay, 15, 5, 10, 15. Perfect. Really cool way to do the 100 envelope challenge because by the end of it, you'll have the $5,050 once you fill all of these in. Oh, so cool. And this is super pretty. But just wait. Kia Budgets. You can see her name right here. K I A budgets love her okay next i want to go ahead and jump into my binder my 100 envelope binder i'm doing a lot of 100 envelope challenges and that's okay because slow and steady wins the race this is my challenge book that you don't have to um fold your money and i absolutely love it so this i love flipping through the pages one at a time uh, okay we're on 16. Oh no. Okay, let me see if I can condense somewhere. Where can I condense? Let me see. Hmm, let me think about this. Let me think. I really want to stuff. Okay, you know what? Let me just go ahead and go to 20 because I know I can do 20. And I can do 21. 21. I love how easy it is to just slide the money in. So when we go to unstuff it, it's going to be so easy. And you can reuse this a billion times. Absolutely love it. And all of the binders come with bling covers. So pretty. That's in my shop. Drippedbye.com. All right. The last challenge we're going to do today is from Busy Lizzie's Budget. And that's crazy. All of the challenges I had over here, I literally have done them this is the last one so i'm super excited we have ten dollars left let's see let's see this is from busy lizzie's a budget you guys can see it right on the bottom right there i put this sticker on here that i got from her so yours won't look like that but i love this she has an etsy shop go and favorite her shop on etsy she's out for a short ish time because she is dealing with medical and she'll be back but you guys can put your email in on her Etsy and it'll no notify you when she opens back up because her shop is so amazing and she's going to be back. And this is from her shop. I love this so much. It says, if you've ever... So this challenge is let's get personal. And I think it's so cool because it's going to get personal. <laughs> You're just going to ask me questions and these are envelopes. How cool is that? So it says, if you've ever stepped on a Lego add this much if not add this much that is so cool so i have definitely stepped on a lego hands down when i was a kid and an adult so let's see how much we got to add 12 oh my god i have an iou that is so cute i love this i have an iou i don't know why i was i was thinking it was gonna be less than 10 or 10 but that's okay i'm totally fine with paying this totally fine with that this is so cute. Now, this has the envelopes that I can put the money in. However, I don't want to fold my money. So, I'm just going to put it. 
I'm gonna make an envelope in here for this one. Let's get personal. And then I'm going to go ahead and put it on the back of this. So, should I put Busy Lizzie? I kinda wanna put Busy Lizzie. Love her. <laughs> but it hurt. Okay, so Busy Lizzie. I love this. So I owe two dollars to this. Will I remember? We'll see. I probably won't, but I will try to remember. <laughs> this is awesome. This is so much fun. Thank you so much, Lizzie. I absolutely love your challenges. All right, any challenges that you guys saw today, I will have linked down below in my description box if you're curious where I got them from. And my shop will also be linked down below. If you don't see it hyperlinked to where you can click it, go ahead and just copy and paste it into your um, your email, your website, internet. <laughs> just copy and paste it because it'll still take you there. Sometimes the hyperlinks act funny and I'll think that it's hyperlinked and it won't be. So if that's the case, it's, it's a simple website, just drippedbye.com. And it really just looks like dripped by, like bye. <laughs> so yes, I'm gonna get out of here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. As far as my shop, if anybody's wondering, I do get a lot of emails and questions when my shop is going to have everything back in stock. I'm currently still finishing up working on orders and there was a ton of orders that came in on my Easter and St. Patrick's Day drop. So I am still chugging away at those. Remember, it's just me blinging these pens and it does take a long time to bling them. This is a couple, for example. They're so freaking beautiful. They're worth the wait, I promise, but I am just doing them by myself one stone at a time and they're gorgeous. They're fun. They take a lot of time and love and as well as my scratch off tools. These are so freaking pretty. But yes, I am working on orders still. So once I'm done, I have a couple of collections I want to come out with once I catch up on orders and then I will put my items back in stock. But I do have items in stock on my shop. So I believe the crayons are available right now. The binders are available right now. My savings challenge binder is available. Um, I think that might be it. I think scratch off tools and fingertip moisteners are available. So there's some things on there that are available, just not everything. So well, that's uh, just a little tad bit for anyone who was curious. If you're thinking about emailing me, uh, yes. Um, so I will catch you guys in the next one. I'm out of here. Bye.